can really help that out, really lube her up a little bit, you know? That's what it needs. It definitely needs lube. Hear me out on this. T- tell me if you think this is dumb. Okay. I feel like they should physically toss the salad. Mm-hmm. All right. <clears throat> Ooh. <clears throat> Spring is in the air. Episode 111 of the Fair Enough podcast. 111 and a half, really. Mike and I recorded half of an episode last week, um, and then he could no longer hear because his headphones died. He's a yeah. dunce. Doesn't put him on the fucking charger. What are you going to do? Not, <laughs> 30 seconds in. Bleep. Sorry for cussing. That's just taking over the world, man. Yeah, he really it, is. What's his face bought him a Lambo today? Or yesterday, or whenever, yeah, over the fucking weekend. Steve, I saw that. Yeah. Good oh, for him. Crazy. Yeah, good for him. I love him. We made the right guy famous. I see a lot of people saying that. A hundred percent. I agree. Has there? When's the last time there was this like universally loved of a famous person? Like to just kind of come up like that. I don't know. I was I thinking about either. that earlier. I mean, Ninja. I hated Honestly. Ninja the whole time. Yeah, I feel like a lot of people hated Ninja because he kind yeah, of was a I douche. Think, I think Ninja's start was just as rampant though and then everyone kind of like lures like uh once you like really got a full dose of them like you're getting a sketch right now you're like oh i kind of have an opinion on him now but like his rise to fame was insane where i agree was yeah it was know? ridiculous dude he was making so much money per day at one point it was like it was something absurd i forget what the figures were but this guy was clean in like 100 mil a month damn near Shout out to Fortnite. And I mean, there's been games in the past that like, I don't know, were universally loved and played, but this one was the first one really played on the internet as far as like clips and things like that, you know, because COD, I don't know, COD didn't really have it like that when Fortnite came out. COD had FaZe Clan, essentially. Right. That was was kind of it in their battles. Well, the thing was, too, is that, like, all of pro gaming before was, like, LAN, like, it was, it was set up within itself, like, with, yeah, because of the Battle Royale, like, format, they were able to really just do whatever the fuck they wanted, um, and with streaming and shit, that it was starting to pop off, like, it just, it, everything just came together so perfectly, you know? Dude, yep. and now Fortnite does, I don't know if they're weekly or whatever they are, but they do cash games. Like, you can just yeah. freely join in cash tournaments, and it's like, what the fuck, dude? Yep. Yeah. If it's any still, of us had brains, we'd get sick at Fortnite. It's hard to do, that's for sure. It is. It is. It's <laughs> harder yeah. to do than ever. Everybody's yeah. so far ahead in that game that it's not even fun to play. Yeah, and it's like if you don't have absolutely zero ping and like the perfect internet and everything too, like building, especially you hear, you hear guys talk about it where it's like it's just you could be the best, have the greatest mind ever, but if you don't have the fucking hardware to go along with it, you're at a disadvantage because the guy across from you has the same exact, you know, they all know everything, and it's yep. like it's and just they're crazy. playing on mouse and key, so they're already well, a step ahead. Yeah, it's just it's just uh. It's crazy, and Fortnite's still just as big as ever, and we don't even realize it. Like, I haven't played in months, and it's like, that game has gone nowhere. Little Jimmy and Timmy are playing, though. That's all they care about. Yeah, it's it's, it's honestly insane. Uh, but we digress. Mm-hmm. Bob in Detroit, Jack in Detroit, Michael in Chicago. It's been a while since we've talked to everybody now at this point. Um, I was birthed. Uh, 29 years ago, last Wednesday, Michael is playing a lot of golf in his retirement, and <laughs> Jack has uh, Jack has cats going to the vet left and right. I think uh, it, they sure do. I think Healthy everybody's cat. pretty much caught up. Those were our last two weeks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's literally all that. I, I lost my debit card. Got it. The next oh day. yeah, dude. Jack's been in a bad way with uh the whole wallet situation dude and it's crazy because i never i've spent the last eight months driving everywhere i don't go anywhere without my car so i've been keeping my wallet in it Mm -hmm. and then of course summer rolls around and you're just 
dancing around Metro Detroit as you do. <laughs> and yeah. I'm fucking Uber in here and walk in there. Didn't have my wallet. And then I lost my debit card the next day. So there we are. <laughs> Yeah, you need to figure that out. Shout out Bob for uh, spotting me at my tab at the bar, and then shout out Maya for funding me to put gas in my car. Um, everybody has been repaid plus interest, so I don't want to hear your whining and complaining. <laughs> that was a fun lunch, by the way. Dude, that, that was one of the better amazing. lunches I've been a part of in a long time. When Where everybody, I mean when you're just ripping off recordings of farts at lunch, like there's nothing <laughs> that, but everybody was having a great time. Yeah, yeah. dude. And that was maybe the best chicken Caesar salad wrap I've ever had in my entire life. Really? See, I didn't think it was as good as like the one that I can make just from the Aldi ingredients. Really? But I'm new to the game. Well, there was I'm, no. This croutons. is like my fourth or fifth chicken Caesar wrap. So I think the the biggest takeaway from that Caesar wrap was that there was no croutons in it. Mm. Do they also, usually do that? Yeah, a good one. You get a nice one, you get the croutons in it. You know, um, mm-hmm. that's a big thing. Also, I need more. I need extra Caesar on my Caesar wrap. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's my biggest thing. That's my biggest takeaway from most of them. And I always forget, that, like, hey, can I get more Caesar salad uh, you're, more dressing? You're yeah, right. It was drier, too. It was drier. Yeah. And for sure. also the fucking cheese that they put on there, like the Parmesan cheese that they, you know, that they sprinkle in there, that dry shit up, too. So, like, you need to combat that. So gotta, like, you got to you got to be ready <laughs> to go to war in there. So I'm saying so it's like you got that. That's my biggest thing with a lot of Caesar wraps, because the flavor the best bite of a Caesar wrap is the one of the better bites you'll have in any meal. I think personally, like, does that make sense to you? Like the best bite of your whole wrap is like such a good bite, but yep. it's just not, it's just so easy to, for it to fall off halfway through. And, or, you know, that's my biggest takeaway with any Caesar wrap though. And I think just the simplicity of just getting more uh, dressing can really help that out, really luber up a little bit, you know? That's what it needs. It definitely needs lube. Hear me out on this. T- tell me if you think this is dumb. Okay. I feel like they should physically toss the salad, mm-hmm. all of it, you know, and then wrap it. Don't like open up the tortilla, put this like put the green salad, then put some sauce over the top. Like physically sauce everything: the the lettuce, the chicken, the croutons, and then put it in there. Sprinkle your parm on it. Wrap it up. Psh, fry it on there so it stays cut it in half, serve it to the customer, right? That would make way more sense because then everything is glossed, everything is evenly coated, and then if you want to exercise a fucking Caesar on the side, then, you, you know, whatever. But Are they not already sense? doing that? That makes no. a million, yeah, that makes a ton of sense. That's crazy no, they're, that they're not doing that. Especially not. now with the craze, everybody's doing the, everywhere you go, TikTok, Instagram, everybody's doing the chopped whatever, which is literally that. It's just chopping the shit up, mixing it all together with the sauce. And then putting it on the sub bun. Chopped Italian's like a fucking huge thing everywhere that, I, or maybe well, it's just my feed. But I, <laughs> the chopped Italian seems like a bit of a stretch. Like if you're getting like a chopped cheese, I get it. Like it is. I, I also I think, agree. I don't need it chopped. Yeah, not my that, Italian. I don't need don't anything need with. If it if it has beef or chicken, you can chop it up. If it has just cold cuts on it, you don't have yeah. to chop up my fucking meat. Like Negative. it's pretty straightforward. You know what don't I mean? Do it, in fact. Yeah, yeah. But <laughs> can I do a chopped cold cut combo? Yeah, Dude, that's, that's going to be an game. option soon. Like real <laughs> soon, it's going to be an option. Yeah, I mean it's already pretty much an option. People like at least you know it's becoming like a craze, like you said. It's like, dude, relax with that. <laughs> Look out for the chopped cold cut at a Subway near you. <laughs> Fair enough podcast brought to you by Subway. <laughs> That'd be sick. Chopped cold cut. Yeah, that was um, a good lunch, though. Yeah. Last thing on the lunch. It, do you want to explain? I thought this was crazy. Do you want to explain the, uh, <laughs> the fucking Bloody Mary situation? <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, I don't think it was insane. I just think it was very unfortunate. They probably didn't expect. But we get there. What was there? Two... Four, six. There was eight of us, right? There was eight of us. Went okay. Yeah. yeah. So eight of us went. I think four of us at least wanted a Bloody Mary because us three and Oya all wanted a Bloody Mary. Correct. 
Correct. I did or, not. I was staying we, away from Bloody Mary. Pat was, did. Oh, Pat did. Okay, so there's four of us that wanted it. And we're all like, yeah, bloody. And then she comes back and she's like, uh, I can only do one Bloody Mary. I don't have enough mix for everybody. And I'm, we were like, ah, what the fuck? And then you three were like, well, we'll just take a beer. And I was like, I'll take the bloody still. <laughs> yeah. And it was pretty well, it was solid. Great. It was, it looked solid. And with the bacon, they did the whole yeah. thing. And I was like, they're definitely not going to do that here. And then when they <laughs> end up flossing it up, then I was like, fuck Mike. Yeah. But it's crazy to me, like, you know, it's get. I, I guess maybe. I mean, it was dead in there when we were in there, so that's kind of yeah. crazy. Cody said it. It was bumping when he was in there for a dinner, so maybe they just don't get a lot of Bloody Mary orders. But still, crazy to me to not like be ready with the shit on deck. My thing, and I wasn't gonna even ask her about it. But there was, there's one. There's two options here. If they make their own homemade mix, I can see. If they make their own homemade mix, they're like, hey, we don't really. You know, it's Sunday morning, like, you know, the mix is done for the week. We make it on Mondays or some shit like that. We make it Sunday yep. night, something like that. All right. But if they just use the Zing Zang out of the bottle, there's absolutely no excuse. You better have another Zing Zang. That's my thing. If they don't make their own homemade mix, which it was a good mix, but I, I could have easily seen it be, uh, be, see it being Zing Zang. Um, then it's like, dude, you got to have at least a bottle on deck behind. I don't know. I thought that that was a little fucked up too and it makes it you know that they get ordered there because they do it up the way that they do yeah true and that they're out so it's like dude like one one way or the other i think you give them the benefit of the doubt if they make their own mix because she was by herself it was dead as fuck in there yep but or it's just like hey what's going on with the shipment of zing zang go to the local liquor store and grab a couple bottles you know what even is in this mix is it just marinara Tomato oh, juice tomato and juice other shit. And then the worst spices. Shire, this, yeah. that, and the other thing. Yeah. Instead of putting it all together yourself, a little bit of pickle juice usually, stuff like that. I used to nearly throw up every time I made one of those at the golf course. Yeah. And you Didn't, probably have made... you tried one yet? Yeah, I've tried them. Oh. And I'm not a, not a fan of it, but I used to hate making them. And people would always get them in the morning for like outings and shit. So I'd have yeah. to make you know, 150 Bloody Marys consecutively. I can see where that would be annoying. Yeah, gross. It's an art, though. I look forward to someday learning how to make, like, a really good one, but I haven't, like, met anyone or been in the situation. Uh, We got anything else before we get into this draft? I feel like this is going to be a long one. No. Speaking of drinks. Speaking of drinks... We are going to do non-Bloody Mary drinks. We are going to do N.A. drinks. Not, we were listing them off before the pod started, but not Bush N.A., not Heineken N.A., not O'Doul's. Not O'Doul's. Just you know drinks how? that don't have alcohol in them. So you know pretty how? much everything's on the board. You know how I know that we're all borderline alcoholics? Is that we have right. to say non- non-alcoholic drinks. We can't just say, hey tasty drinks we got to be like don't worry there's no boo like <laughs> you know what i mean like it should be like the opposite where we should just call them drinks and then if we're talking about boozy drinks we should be like oh the best alcoholic, alcoholic. Drink. you know what i mean like yeah. that's how backwards yeah, our dude, shit my is. problem is i don't if i'm not drinking alcohol i'm drinking water or orange juice so like a lot of the drinks that are going to be mentioned here is good shit but Shit that I never partake in. Like, I can't tell you the last time I was like, let me just crack open a Pepsi. No rum in it, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Hold the rum, please. Like, Hold the rum on my Pepsi, please. I'd rather have an ice water, you know? You guys put like, the rum in every water. time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Whoa, why does this Pepsi taste funny? Yeah, so good. <laughs> it's amazing. Uh, All right. Yeah. Spin the damn wheel. For the alcoholics. When did I draft bug juice? That was in the... Um, Gas station snacks. Yep. Are you sure? 100%. 100%. Uh, says Mike. Sorry for ruining the integrity of the draft. I know you guys were really on the edge of your seat ready to draft some bug juice. I was going to draft that. All right, here's a wheel. Okay. Wheel is spinning. 
Jack I'll is first, first overall. Are you picking this Jack as a controversial pick or a pick that he wants our opinion on? Is that coming first? That will not be coming first. I got to lock one in. Michael, what do you want, nice. Mike? I'll go second. Bob on the rear. Yee. Bob on the rear. That could be a mess here. All right. The non-alcoholic, or Mike says, tasty drink draft. I mean, but right? Like, isn't, that, isn't that fucked up how, like, that, that, it's not just us. That's everybody in our demographic is like, hold on. Are we talking booze? <laughs> yeah. No, dude. Like, we're talking just non-alcoholic. <laughs> like, we have to specify. That's It's crazy. It's like having orange juice when you're 29 to 35. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, it's where's the champagne in this, you know? <laughs> I haven't had a glass of regular OJ in forever. Neither have I. Dude, I keep OJ on deck. All right. You're a genius. Pick number one. To start us off, shout out to our friends south of the border. I am taking a Taco Bell native. Wow. Baja Blast. Yep. He says, south of the border. South of the border, where they are making the Baja Blast. That's where Taco Bell originates. Yep. Um, yeah. No complaints here. I think it's worthy of a 1-1. Definitely cultural, culturally worthy of, an, of a 1-1. Yeah, I feel like that one was just chalk. I remember the first time I ever had Baja Blast. Uh, I was in the the drive through with Dad, and they just came out with it. I was fucking psyched. There's one thing Rob Senior loves. He, if you're like, hey, let's go get some T Bell, he's down. Yeah, he's For down. For reason, that's his kryptonite. <laughs> but uh, yeah, when I first I had the first sip of that thing, it was a life changer. There was nothing like it out there. So yeah. Like Dude, Dad always gets the fucking. Well, he always used to get the grilled stuffed steak burrito, oh. and I've never seen a guy in such turmoil when they discontinue a Taco Bell item. What a <laughs> he travesty! He bitches about it every time. And when he can't, when he consoles a place, those places don't do well after CC Red Lobster and Blockbuster. Oh man, he consoled Blockbuster into the next fucking dimension. <laughs> <laughs> All of a sudden, their stock tanked. Yeah, they were because they were calling him about Spider Man One on the PS2, and he was like, "I don't got it." And they were like, "Well, we're charging you," so he canceled their ass, <laughs> and then they bankrupt. Yep, he said, "You guys wait till 2013, see what happens." You're gonna be fricked. <laughs> Seems <laughs> laughing. All right, Michael, how do you top uh, Baja Blast? I mean, this this draft for me is going to be very just what I like to drink, so we're going to go with water. <laughs> All right. I was wondering when water was going to go. I was hoping I did go not even round. think about water. Uh, favorite kind of water? Uh, bottled. I go Fiji if I can. I really do. I have something about the square bottle that fucking just fucks me up, Daddy. Booge, um, Michael. What if I told you I never had a Fiji? I'd say you should. It's it's not that much more expensive. It's really it's 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 the same amount as any other of like the top ones that they have at the gas station or anything. Um, but I'm never buying a 24 pack of Fiji, you know, because they don't really serve those up at the old like Costco and shit. But right, um, what's delicious. the what's the red and black one? The That's red the and new hot one on the town with the red and black cap. fancier one. Yeah, I like that it's one like a essential lot. Essential or something. Yeah, I think you're right. I think it is essential. That's Shout out to right. those people. Yeah, I don't I know. I like that. Yep, water's good. Hose water trumps them all, though. I mean, no, but yeah. I mean, if you're kind of <laughs> Dude, like, nostalgically. Some, some cold-ass hose water. It's nothing like yeah. it. Nothing like it. All right, I like water at the two yeah. spot. Two chalk picks right now. I did not even think of that, though. I know, this guy all was right. like, I only drink water and orange juice, and he goes with neither of <laughs> them. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Fuck. I was just giving away picks there. That's why. Yeah. And you <laughs> said Pepsi like thing. ten times. I'm like, dude, this cocksucker, dude. <laughs> I'm all so over trash. It. Nobody was taking Pepsi. Come on. All right. I'm going with my favorite NA drink, and it's not close. I'm going with chocolate milk. Uh-huh. I knew you were gonna take that, but I'm not, I wasn't taking that too overall. You just had to let me have it. Um, 
specifically Bearman's Prairie Farms has also stepped up their game as of late, and the classic is Kroger. But all good. Hey, you got to get on your Oberweiss shit, dude. You need to figure it out and somehow find Oberweiss in Detroit. That's just a Chicago regional thing, hey? I don't think it's just regional to Chicago. Um, it's like a creamery more than it is like milk, um, but mm. it's it's so good. It's glass bottle. I think anything that comes in a glass bottle is just a little bit better. So, mm. but yeah, it's just delicious. Did Big Milk ever take over chocolate milk? Because I don't think they did. Because I also prefer like a Kroger or a Walmart chocolate milk over. Like, I don't even know what's the big brand. Fucking I think new? I think Prairie Farms is the big brand. I think that's mm. everywhere. Yeah, I think so also. So one one. Yeah, I had to go chocolate milk there for round two. God, dude. I know you guys won't pick those. I'm going to go with a blue Powerade. Nothing beats a good blue Powerade. And you know where you get the best blue Powerade? Here's a little secret of the game that I'm going to give to everybody. Go to Speedway and get the blue Powerade out of the fountain machine. Mm. They put, like, because they do the syrup themselves, like, they mix the Powerade, uh, and it's way better. It's just like well, if you ever experience, like, football practice or basketball or something where they would mix the Gatorade themselves, and it always, like, tasted better because there was more flavor to it. That's how the Powerade is at Speedway from the fountain. Ten, ten times better than the bottle. It's not even close. Dude, uh, I used to love the fucking Gatorade we had at football practice. Mm-hmm. We so had that good. shit dialed into a T yep. over at Boyd Field. Yep. It's just the so, go-to. So does that take, like, all, like, does that take the other ones off the table or no? Um, no. I don't think it takes, I, that's why I said blue Powerade. Okay. I think everything else is open. Yeah, I like that too. If, if you really want it that bad and don't want to diversify your list and you want to follow a leader, then take another Powerade. I dare you. No, no, I didn't mean Powerade at all. Oh. I meant other, other like sports drinks. You know what I mean? Gotcha. Michael. You're... Well, I guess it's time to hit the old dusty trail again. <laughs> oh, God. We're going to go with, uh, send a check, drink it every day. Dude, yeah. dude. I was like, when is this guy going to take the monster? <laughs> send the check, dude, every day. Go with the monster energy, preferably the white one. White monster. Dude, I can't even drink the white monsters anymore. Rob and Laura hooked on those things. They're getting a yep, lot of shout That's why today. I can't. Dude, when I, we used to take booze for my parents, my buddies and I, we'd like rip shots of Captain, and the only thing in our garage fridge was fucking white monsters. Yeah, I remember the last time I was in Saginaw, and I stayed at your parents' house that one night, and I woke up, and we were watching like a Michigan game, and they're like, ah, oh, we have Monster, and I'm like, what the fuck, and then it ended up being like the all the fucking uh, no sugar ones, or whatever the fuck, and I was like, oh. It's like they got it on lock around here, boy. <laughs> yeah, I was so yeah, excited. We didn't have any other options. We had white monster. Yeah, yeah water and white monster. Fucking absurd. <laughs> Love to see it. Yeah, I. That's the thing. That's going to be the my downfall in this draft is I'm not a energy drink guy. So you guys can tag all those. Yeah, I'm not, uh, not going to do all that crazy shit. Go ahead, Jack. All right, I got a wrap around here, correct? Correct. All right, I am taking first a nice iced coffee. Smart. People are going to be pissed that coffee was even taken this late. I know, and I really don't want it on my squad because I'm not a big coffee guy, mm. but if I do drink it, it's cold. Really? 
Yeah. See, I, and that's that seems to be the way that everybody's going now. But I feel like if I'm gonna start drinking it, and I'm like trying to drink a little here and there, it's got to be hot. Mm. But Savannah only drinks cold, and it pisses me off because I want it to be hot. I like a good. If you've never tried them, they make you shit like crazy. But the um, Starbucks sells a can at Speedway of a double shot of like white chocolate espresso. Yeah. And it's fucking incredible. <laughs> it tastes Very good, eh? good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's like a chocolate milk. Pretty much, but it gets you juiced. Yeah, that's so, sick. Do you guys find any like difference between like okay, so like those double shots uh or even just like a cold brew? Um like do you consider like do you see any difference between that, like a cold brew and an iced coffee? Because it's like that's a jack question. I wouldn't be able to tell you. Hell no. Fair enough. Because it's like there are differences where people will like make cold brew coffee, leave it in their fridge in a pitcher, pour it up every morning, and then there's yeah. people that make coffee and then fucking put ice in it, and it's like, what the fuck is the difference? You know what I mean? Oh, right. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah, no, I have no clue. It's probably, like, how the flavor's released from the beans or some nerdy-ass shit. Yeah. Like, that's I, all I coffee know. is, is nerd shit. Dude, there's so many coffee douchebags. Sometimes they <laughs> pop up on my um, For You page, and I'm like, why the fuck is this here? And then it's stitched with some dude that's, like, making fun of him, and I'm like, oh. <laughs> Dude, people who make espresso daily in the morning and they film it and they like they it's like a fucking 20 minute process can all get fucking bent. Honestly, dude, like I don't care how much money you make. I don't care what fuck you, dude. Like, just make a goddamn Keurig fucking cup and call it a day and get the fuck out. Nobody needs to see your first of all. Put a pair of fucking socks on if you're going to do this. The (laughs) amount of times I see people's bare ass feet making espresso because it's obviously fucking pointed down. It's like, get your dirty ass dogs out of the fucking camera, bro. <laughs> Simple as that. I don't need to see my coffee with your stupid fucking toes, bro. Ah, I agree. I'm sorry. Go ahead, Jack. Pick number three. <laughs> um, pick off. number three. <laughs> dirty ass dogs. <coughs> <coughs> I am going to go with Jesus. Um, a pick that I sold earlier, but I need it on my roster. <laughs> OJ. Yeah. Shout out to OJ Simpson. That's another thing that happened last week. Oh, yeah. OJ's dead. Yeah. You're welcome you his, if you didn't know that. You see, yeah. they made him sign his kids sign an NDA or whatever, like before he died. What? For yeah. what? So his kids know what really happened? His kids, like, to get in the room to watch him die, had to sign an NDA or some shit, which That's I think crazy. is a gangster move by OJ. Like, he was actually just dying of. Like cancer, he was like, nobody knows about this except us. And they know I have cancer, that's it. Those are the only details. I kind of think that's a pretty dope way to go out. Who's going to hold you to the NDA? Oh, I'm sure there's lawyers, Guy's lawyers dead. and shit. Yeah, but there's lawyers and people that are uh, assigned to his estate and all that shit, I would assume, that have to, you know, honor that shit, you would imagine. How many people have to die before they could talk about it freely? That's the number I want. You know, <clears throat> that's a good question. That is a you really think, good question. You think it's ten plus, or you think it's like it might three have to be a whole people. It might have to be a whole generation. It might have to be OJ's whole kids, like his grandkids, can talk about it once his kids are dead. Damn. If I had a guess, statute of limitations at that point. Yeah. How do we feel about OJ? Not I, the man, the, the beverage. Oh yeah, that's the, what we were doing. I love OJ. Yeah. A pulp or no pulp? What do you think? I, if I could take all the pulp in the world and put it in my glasses only, I would do that. That's crazy. I'm a, yeah, I'm like, (laughs) I'm like, just sprinkle some pulp in. I don't, I definitely don't need what Jack's talking about, but if you want to sprinkle pulp and then drink OJ on the side, I want you to sprinkle fucking pulp on top like it's parsley that's like what garnish. i garnish yeah 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 like garnish it with pulp. just rim just rim the outside of the glass with it <laughs> yep old-fashioned it old-fashioned yeah. margarita yeah yeah i i just uh i don't know i love oj but i don't like when orange like they try to do like i had orange zest french toast in florida one time it was the grossest thing i've ever had in my life yeah that's yeah, the peel that. that they're putting on there I know. 
But I'm saying, like, don't don't stretch the envelope with orange. Yeah, That's all citrus, I'm saying is the big orange juice. juice. Citrus can go a long way, man, and ruin things fast. Like, I, 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 I had that happen it with takes the, over. It really does. I had that happen. I went and got this burger joint the other day, mm-hmm. and it came with, like, the fries came with, like, ketchup, and there was, like, an aioli. Mm-hmm. And it was lemony though and it was just too much lemon it's like god damn if you just eased up a little bit this would be so much better i want a hint not half the taste you know i don't want and I'm, I'm here to make this stand i don't want lemons on any food that i'm eating I don't really want nope i'm the same way with limes i don't, I don't want, want it on it. like fish i don't want lemon on tacos it, like i don't want lemon sprinkled it does on take over it does mm-hmm. take over it really really does um Good yeah. pick, though. I like OJ. Do you guys think limes are salty? No. No, I think, I think limes just, are. Gross, I think you're. Though. I think you're licking the salt. From <laughs> you're your doing, shot, you're just and then you're tasting the lime. lime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what you've been doing. That's what <laughs> you're exposed a margarita. to. Yeah. Right. right. All right, Michael. Back to um, you. Round three. How do you follow up orange juice? Um. Uh, I do not gonna, just have a bunch. I do, how is this hard? Because I don't drink a lot of drinks, dude. I don't. I literally water, monster, alcohol are like the three big ones for me. Same. Like I don't drink Minus a lot of pop. I don't drink. You know, I don't drink a lot of anything. Mm-hmm. Um. So I just I, I'm trying to pick shit that like I actually like. I don't give a fuck what anyone thinks. You know what I mean? That's dumb as fuck. But all I right, know. Go ahead. I just, it just <laughs> is what it is. I think the energy drink alone is going to take me off the ballot because it just is what it is. So um, I'll go with one pop and I'll go with uh, Dr. Pepper. Really? Yes. It's, it's the best it's the best pop other than maybe Baja Blast. I mean, what are we talking about? You think so? I think so. <sighs> I'm not a, I'm not a pep guy. Oh, really? Uh, not am. that I'm an, I'm not anti pep. I'm just not like. I'm never buying it. I would never pay money for it. I only, I only get it if I go to like Wendy's and get like a big, <laughs> and I have to order a drink, Dr Pepper. Yeah, I don't um, hate it, but I would not even spend <laughs> one singular cent on that <laughs> dog shit soda. I wouldn't do it, dude. I'd have to be stuck on an island, just a pep island. <laughs> hey, I, listen, I have, I, I don't take offense to that at all. I understand completely. Um. But there's just a few things. Like, I mean, overall, I think Dr. Pepper is better than any other pop, except maybe a Baja Blast. That's from the fountain at Taco Bell, where it's like, I'm not here to differentiate. I can't put that on the fucking, on the fucking, the graphic Baja Blast from Dr. Pepper. Like, you're taking right. Baja Blast from, or, I mean, Baja Blast from Taco Bell. You're taking it in the can. You're taking it fucking shitty from T-Bell. You're taking, you know what I mean? Yep. It's just Baja Blast, so. Because there is one uh, that you can be like, oh, McDonald's, you know, which I don't know if that even counts. It'll count. Okay. so Because someone's going to snag that, I would imagine. So you're – is Dr. Pepper one of the ones that plays as a diet? Because once again, I mean, they're popular people on this podcast today, but Rob and Laura fly – if they don't have White Monster, they got Diet Dr. Pepper. I'm pretty diet sure – Dr. P, I'm yeah. Yeah, people like Diet Dr. P because it tastes yeah. just like normal Dr. P. Oh, it does? Yeah. So it's one of the better ones then. They I also think, always yeah. had, and I'm not selling a pick here because nobody was taking this, but if they didn't have Diet Dr. P, they had Diet Cherry Pepsi, aspartame free. Mm. Oh, yeah, they did. Cherry Pepsi is another one. If you're not feeling Baja T-Bell, you get a Cherry Pepsi from Taco Bell. <clears throat> they got good Cherry Pepsi there. Cherry Pep is so good. I'll Check die on that deal. Good. All right, I'm going. Go for it. Round three, I am going with Mountain Dew Voltage. Wow. Which I think is the best Mountain Dew. It is close, though. There is one that has not been taken that I think is beats it on every other day. It's a 50-50 split for me. But Voltage was like the first pop that I was like, holy shit. Like I am, I am in love with this pop. Like I have to have this every time I go somewhere. And when I was younger, I did. 
Um, dude, I might go crack. get a two liter of fucking voltage tonight. It's crack. <laughs> it really is, dude. I wish I could just pound a hundred of them without getting a headache, but kick that's... back and have a nice ice cold glass of some voltage. Dude, that shit just kills me, but it is so good. And cool colors. It's cool, like blue, like the black label of it. Voltage yeah. came out right after. Do you guys remember Vault? Yeah. The green, whatever. That was horrible. I thought yeah. it was going to be sick. The commercials were everywhere. It was like, it was Vault and then Axe Body Spray were the only two commercials you saw on TV at the time <laughs> if you were a kid. But, but Vault ended up sucking. But then Voltage came out right after it, and I was like, holy shit. And you can fact check me on that. Maybe I'm way off, but uh, it feels like they came out one after another. Uh, second pick, I am going with Orange High C from McDonald's. Wow, that's a great play. It is a treat and a half. I love going and taking the Don's trip just because I'm probably going to get me an orange high C to go with it because I'm not a pop guy, so I won't get... Although, Don's does have good pop and somebody may draft it, so I'm not going to say it, but the orange high C at Don's is slept on, and they got rid of it for a while. People were not happy, so they brought it back. Don's W, common, common Don's W. One time I got in trouble at a Don's, asked for water cup, sat down, Mm -hmm. proceeded to get some orange high C. As one does. saw it, came over to my table, asked me if I was going to pay for that. Really? I was 14, so I was like, wasn't planning on it. (laughs) (laughs) You can rob me. I don't have any money. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. (laughs) That's I've yeah, never heard yeah, of that yeah, move. Ahead. I've never heard of the coming out from behind the counter to basically arrest you move for dude. It was crazy doing the old switcheroo. Yeah, that's crazy. Yep. Okay. All right. Orange I C Don's and Mountain Dew Voltage. Michael. Um, gonna go with um. That noise. Um, we're gonna go with uh, I'm gonna go with lemonade, just yeah, sweet. limonada. Um, I like it more when it's like a fresh one, like I'll drink like a Minute Maid, but I would mm-hmm. prefer like Chick fil A's got a good lemonade, Wendy's they has do a, have a good lemonade. lemonade. Um, Savannah loves the frozen lemonade at Chick fil A, she's obsessed with it. Mm. Yeah, they got good. They have that's what like that's where my head is at. But like one of those that's a little better, a little more like I I don't know if it's fresh, but it's not fucking Minute Maid with a thousand fucking ca- um you know ounces of sugar in it. But yeah, lemonade, just a nice, cool, refreshing drink on a summer day. Toss some vodka in it. Come on, come on. God, a Tito's and lemonade smacks. Talk about a great drink in the morning. <laughs> you don't have bloody right. stuff. Tito's and lemonade, great drink in the morning. Really? I'm more of a mimosa guy myself, but yeah. It's nice and easy. It's nice and easy. If you have the right lemonade, though, you're right. It depends. Are you taking a Tito's and lemonade over a screwdriver in the morning? Yes. At the bar, of course, all day, every day. I am. I am. Yeah, at this point. It's close. I feel like vodka's I'll, better with lemonade than it is with OJ. I'll take a mimosa over a Tito's and lemonade, though. I like a mimosa a lot. Mm. Especially when they put, like, fruit and stuff in it. That's fine. Oh, fuck yeah. It's game over. Yeah. I'll have a hundred of those. Yeah. Lemonade's a good pick. I want to sell the other one down the river and talk about it, but maybe somebody will pick it. Maybe I'll pick it. Go ahead, Jack. I am going pick four. I'm going to take my controversial one last. So pick four, though. Um, my alma mater. Delta spent College. A time, spent a lot of time with these bad boys over at 7 Eleven with the Slurpees. Oh. That's honestly a really good fucking pick. That is a good pick. <laughs> I, I thought that, it was for sure getting taken. That was in that not last even on the radar. I didn't even think about anything like in that vein, but you definitely no. it's a it's a drink. Yeah. hundred percent a drink. You're not eating that. I mean no. you could. You could. Uh, you're not, though. 
What's uh, what's the flavor profile you're going for Slurpee every time? I love to see what's there, man. I don't have like a go-to Slurpee. If there's something wacky, I want to fucking try it. Are you a bit zany? I'm in. Are you mixing a bunch, or are you mix? Are you not even like a mix guy? I'm gonna go two max. Yeah, two max if they can complement each other. Possible mm-hmm. third. It's a good man. But I'm not going nuts. I'm not getting one of every flavor. I think that's either. foolish. I think so too, because then you got no flavors. There's no flavor. Yeah, yeah exactly. you just have one weird bad flavor. That's all. Anything altogether. over two, really, it's there's nothing. You're like, now you're not getting anything. Yeah, yeah. like you could go cherry and coke a lot of people do the cherry coke that's what i thought you were gonna say it's good it's really good it is good i even dude i'll even just go cherry straight up sometimes either cherry or blue raspberry dude i love a cherry dude i actually have not had a slurpee in probably five years and i need to get on that you know what for whatever reason i've always thought was like the best one of those are the ices from target Dude, because they're a little bit thick. They're like chunkier ice. They're not yeah. so smooth. That shit's good. Okay, that what about this with good. like a... Actually, no, I can't sell that. I can't sell that. Fuck. All right. What did you do, flavor profiles, Mike, for your Slurpee? Um, so I was more of a, a speedy freeze guy because it was just on the way. Mm-hmm. Um, But I would do either a mixture of just because speedway the one at least i had there was limited it was coke mountain dew blue red that's all you had to go from for the most part so i would either do blue blue and red or coke and red yeah and on the on the off chance that all the good ones are down out i would fucking mix the blue with the fucking mountain dew every once in a while but that was my Mm. least favorite concoction dude how did coke get so deep into the slurpee game they locked out with they got shit. in on the ground level that's why they did and that's what it out. was they like mike said it was four flavors and coke was the only name brand yeah that's correct all right jack last pick. all right this is the one that i don't know if it hit you guys as hard as it hit me okay but the and they don't sell them anymore but the gosh darn Soby Life Waters. Oh. The, fucking, the pink one that was like Strawberry Paradise or some shit. Mm-hmm. Soby Life Water was the greatest drink of my childhood. I'm not... I thought Life Water was always gross. Really? I still do. Uh, I think like OG Soby, like dad used to drink those. And really? Those are good as fuck, yeah. Well, dude, they OG were like Sobies. thick. It was like a nice... I don't even know. Yeah. It was good, though. Can't say I've ever had the Solby Life Water. Have you had that, Michael? I don't know. I probably have, but I felt like it was... It sounds weird, but I felt like that was, like, trashy. Oh, oh 100%. 100%. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> yeah, dude. That's why Rob <laughs> Sr. was bringing the Sobies to the construction site. Like, it was... Oh, yeah. It was like, for the fellas. Bougie there. They were like, oh... It was They're for the like, is this, Why is there a lizard on your bottle right now? Yeah, Deep Pockets Bob comes yeah. out to the fucking construction set. Yep. Everybody that drank Sobe like had a tattoo of the lizard on them somewhere. <laughs> yeah, you had to. Either you were you from Arizona counter. or you drank Sobe. That's yeah. Like, yeah. To the yeah. To buy it. They're like, where's your tat? Like, yeah. Oh. yeah. It's right here you on my identify. foot, dog. What do you mean? <laughs> yeah. Oh, right where I expected it. Oh, yeah. Is it right underneath those ankle bracelets you're wearing? Oh. Yeah. Unfold your sandals for me. I can't quite see it. Yeah, she, you definitely aren't wearing socks if you got the lizard yeah. tat. Oh, and you've got capris on for easy tat access. All Perfect. Right. <laughs> yep. Uh, cool brand, Sobe. Or trash yep. brand. You decide. Yeah, I, but cool. yeah, I'd say overall bad, bad pick. <laughs> um, but, but I mean, hey, I, I understand. Wanted, I wanted I, one true Jack member on yeah, my team. Yeah, exactly. that was. I, I, I appreciate it. I don't, I'm not like dogging the pick. I just was never on my radar, was never anything that I ever dabbled in. At least oh. I took it last. I could have taken that first in typical well, Jack yeah. fashion. I think you just understood the assignment a little bit. You're like, yeah, I'm going to take this last. <laughs> what are you going with here, Mike? Your your list is something. Who? <laughs> Yours. Mine is the most basic list that there possibly could be. It really is. It is. It's the just most... is the gr- half of the grocery list for a family camp. Yeah, show. it's the most basic <laughs> shit on the planet. No, it's 100%. just all the it's just all the shit in our parents' fridge. 
<laughs> and Rob and Laura's fridge. That's what you just drafted. That's funny. You'd be well, great friends. Uh, but literally. I, I mean, Tweety. you can you could veto this, but I think if we're letting Slurp, Slurpee on the list, uh, I think it's appropriate. It's a drink. You don't eat it. Uh, I'm going to go with a milkshake. Um, yeah. Just a strawberry milkshake. Okay. I love that. Favorite yeah. fast food place to get a milkshake from? Um, Surprisingly enough, which you guys don't have too much of, White Castle has a very good milkshake. Really? Um, yeah. We actually surprisingly have a lot around. Yeah, you we got do. A White Castle on yeah. eight mile. Yeah, That's we got true. A bunch. Around you more, but like back in Saginaw, there was none. Oh, there's none. Yeah, oh, you yeah. had to go to Flint to get to White Castle. Yeah. Um, they make they good really shakes, eh? Hey? Yeah. Phenomenal shake as well. Who does? I had five guys. Five guys. Five guys. Oh yeah. I had five guys yesterday. Two hot dogs, a double cheeseburger, and a fry. The smallest fry was thirty-five dollars and some change. Oh, I, was I almost, gonna guess forty. Uh, oh, I that's cheap. I thought I got, it was gonna be more than that. I got a small, the smallest fry, the little fry. Two dogs and a fucking burger is, is cheap. Thirty-five bucks. Yeah, Dude, it's, it's not even two full meals for twenty bucks a piece, almost. Double cheeseburger is twelve dollars by itself, though. Like the, yeah, it was the, like the, the unit cheeseburger. Yeah, yeah, I mean it was a thick bitch. So good. Best cheese on the good. market. Look no further. I haven't further. had one in a while. Speaking um, of five guys. Oh, wait, no. We're not done with this draft. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. After the draft, I have a question. Well, there's okay. one pick left. You can d- dive into five guys. We can make Bob wait. Fuck him. Yeah, go ahead. I genuinely, when we were talking about this other draft topic, the fast cash, <laughs> I do not know of any fucking restaurants that fit that bill <clears throat> me and yeah. my coworker john we were walking out of work yesterday when like right after we had discussed this and i was like do you know of any he didn't even know what it meant he's like what like fucking applebee's i was like no <laughs> like i don't i couldn't think of any so i'm curious to know what the fuck you guys had on deck for that dude jack if you think i had more than what he said also you're out of your goddamn mind oh okay so this is just a like, bob crazy i had thing. like pop belly that's the only thing i could think like it's just shit you can't think of let's is let's like finish Doba up fast tr- casual yes i think so let's finish this up real quick um we'll go milkshake <laughs> i do think that wendy's doesn't really count because it's a the frosty is like a mid but obviously that's one of the better ones too um, Frosty is good. My fa- is, I, they all, they I, all I like getting Don's shakes. Yeah, Don's, I was say, Don's is shakes. a good shake too, for sure. Um, what do you guys? Hey, wait, 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 wait. At these basic shake places where there's only a few flavors and we know what they are, what flavor are you getting? I like strawberry personally, but chocolate is not a bad idea. Or vanilla. God, I, I, I like strawberry. Shake. I like vanilla. God damn it, I knew you were going to fucking say that. Yeah, it's crazy. My last pick, I'm going uh, Great Propel. I love Propel. Great Propel is crazy good. Uh, I have one upstairs that I'm excited to drink. That pick (laughs) might have lost me this whole thing, but I'm staying true (laughs) to who I am, and I'm going Great Propel. I like the Great Propel play. Listen, you're talking shit, not talking shit, but you're talking about my list, right? I have, like, the most basic list on the round. But your list looks like it came from a fucking twelve year old kid. <laughs> my middle my middle powered voltage, dude. My middle like, three are untouchable. <laughs> they are absolute steals in this draft. I mean I all disagree. three of my middle ones. I disagree, but universally loved. I'm just saying yours looks like it's mine looks like I'm a hundred years old. Yours looks like you're 12 and Jack just looks like a confused 25 year old. You know, <laughs> <laughs> he might be gay. He's not sure. Like he doesn't that really know what's middle. going on. Nah, he's like, I'm gay on the Sobe life water days. I don't know what <laughs> yeah. to tell you when I'm drinking yeah. that I'm gay. Uh, honorable <laughs> mentions. Uh, smoothies. I mean, yeah. Smoothies sure. are good. That's those are like a meal. Um, any of the Kool Aid Yammers or like Capri Sun, like those are those wow. are always a good oh, time. But I have one of those. The plastic off the top is oh, fucking yeah. mint. What a shame to not draft one of those. The only time I have one of those is like when I get a. I'll, I'll go. I'll never not go buy a Lunchable for a snack. Um, a couple times a year. Mm-hmm. Only time I have one of those, and it's always like, damn, that was pretty good. I can drink seven of these, dude. <laughs> I can't. I, I mean, having kids is for the food is going to be unbelievable. Yeah. I can't McDonald's wait. Sprite. Yep, Don Sprite and, and Coke, Coke were. You know, they. I watched a video on it the other day. It's crazy what they're doing in there. 
Um, They're mixing that shit up in a crazy way. Mountain Code Heat, Red. Code Red. I was just going to say it. It's, it, it goes too. punch for punch with Voltage or Baja Blast, in my opinion, any day of the week. Like a good Code Red, a Fountain Code Red from the ice rink. Yeah. Next yep. question. Pretty good, dude. There were a lot of good Mountain Dews. The orange one, Live Wire, I was slept on. I that one good. was slept on. I agree. I, I'd say Code Red and Live Wire over Voltage, to be honest with you. Oh, you're just wrong. I mean, that's just me. I grew Dude, up on Code those, Red though. is really fucking good. It's I so might go good. get myself a couple soda pops. This go time. get all of them and taste test them, and let's uh, let's get a, a <laughs> review because I want to <laughs> live vicariously through you doing that. Have you guys ever uh, seen the guy that <clears throat> it might be multiple guys, but the guys that have like all of the old Coke container or like Mountain Dew containers or Coke or something like that, like. This guy on TikTok, he has like every single can or bottle of Mountain Dew that's like ever come out, like preserved. Like some of them aren't even open. It's like whole, like dude, hundreds. That's cool as fuck. If you had like a a setup like that in your basement, it's like, yeah, I got every Mountain Dew bottle. That's got to say. It's like my, it is kind of like wasted. Like, what do you do with it if you don't like present it properly? But it's like, it's a cool collection, and like he has like Japanese one, like he has ones from overseas and shit. Like, damn, yeah, that's sick, it's, dude. You could do some pretty cool sick collection. artwork with that. Like, that's hang sure. up in like a fifty by fifty grid and have oh, like yeah. the last two hundred and fifty yeah. cans that. <clears> or make came like out. a, or make like a flag or like a, 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 you know, like the pit collages that end up being like a mural in itself. You know. Yep. Oh Which yeah, that'd be, be sick. Would be talented as fuck, but it's just wild because you forget. You're like, dude, <laughs> like this crazy ass mountain dude, like the red, white, and blue mountain, dude, like shit, like that. And you're like, what the fuck were we doing? You know, this is the I most just guys <clears throat> being dudes conversation I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> we should take all these fucking mountain dudes <laughs> and we should make a collage. This is art. <laughs> Turn it into a fucking an American flag. Dude, these colors don't run. For a <laughs> yeah, these colors don't run, dog. Dude, don't run. Uh, what do you think about it. this one? Pink What's lemonade, that? specifically pink lemonade from Taco Bell. I don't know if you've had it, I've but never. Taco Bell is doing some kind of crazy mix with their lemonade, where it is like extra, extra, extra tasty. They li- they list it as Minute Maid, I believe, right? Yeah, it ain't. <laughs> or if it is, they're mixing it themselves, for sure. Right. But yeah. that shit slaps. I, honestly, I probably would have. I probably would say pink lemonade over normal lemonade. Um, That's what I was gonna ask you. Mo- I, so if I go Minute Maid, if I go like with like a store bought fucking brand, I'd go pink every day. But when I go to like a a restaurant, usually pink lemonade is not an option. Mm. <clears throat> when they have like the good lemonades yeah so like my head was in that space where like i wanted like the better like the good lemonade usually pink isn't an option but yes if i was going store or like a minute made or like a normal yeah i'm going like country time i'm going pink every time last one i had was uh bargs <sighs> or any kind of root beer i'm not I a root beer root- guy but i thought maybe I- one of you guys would draft that I had root beer on my list because those are my probably my two favorite pops. Like the Mountain Dews are good, um, but I rarely drink any of the Mountain Dews anymore unless it's Baja Blast. Uh, like Dr Pepper and root beer are probably my favorite pops. What's the good root beer? Are you an A and W guy or are you a Bargs guy? Um, is it, it Bargs? I don't even know if I'm saying that right. Bargs. Yeah, no. Yeah, it's, it it's a Q. Oh, it's, it's a, a Q. Q. You're right. Yeah, it's Bargs. Yeah. Um, I don't. I don't know. I like them all. I, I don't really have. I don't discriminate too much. I like a bottled one that's like the fancy ones, you know. Mm-hmm. A dad's. Dude, I'll discriminate the f- fuck out of some root beer. I hate that shit. No cap. Oh, just some... all of it in general. Yeah, not a huge fan of root beer. Uh, I thought you meant like, oh, you hate fucking A and W. I was like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you know what I like is those the freaking restaurants. <clears throat> Sign me up for a gosh darn. What are you saying right now? Dog. Oh, A and W restaurants. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was like, what is this guy talking about? Yeah, I was um, lost on that also. We got uh, obviously we didn't draft Gatorade. People are not going to be happy about that. But 
So that's where my head was at when you're like, oh, power rate. I was like, well, does that eliminate yeah. the rest of them? Um, and I wouldn't say that it did, but it yeah. wasn't in you guys' top five drinks. It well, dude, it. and if you're going to take the blue off the fucking board, then it's like, if I'm going to take anything adjacent, it's going to be lesser value. Yeah. I actually like Gatorade better than Powerade, but yeah. I'm not... a Powerade Zero guy. We just talked about this, didn't are you we? A, yeah. yeah. Are you a cool blue guy or are you a Frost Glacier guy for blue? <sighs> Ooh, I like oh, the Frost Glacier, but it's less accessible. But um, can't go wrong with either of them. I mean, we're talking at we're talking, you know, one A, one B. I think the thing. Frost Glacier tastes like medicine. Really, I like. Yeah, any, I like the dark any, blue. Any fierce Gatorade is probably my favorite, Ooh, though. Like fierce the, grape <laughs> is untouched. That's my favorite. Fierce Gatorade, grape, for sure. fierce melon, fierce strawberry. Like they're just they're, they're just elite. They uh, are. And then the, the the light purple frosts, the Riptide Rush, I believe it's called. Like motherfucker, that one. Riptide good. Rush is yeah, is fire. It's so good. It's hard to find though, bro. Oh yeah, um, it was everywhere for a minute. Yeah, and now and it's they, just gone. <laughs> I feel like they started coming out with so many new things, and they were like, "Hey, we're gonna get rid of Riptide Rush," and it's like, "Whoa, whoa, whoa! Let's get rid of the fucking cucumber limon one before we get rid of Riptide yeah, Rush." Yeah, you know? yeah. <laughs> you're right. Dude, you know who's got an excellent selection of Gatorade and Powerade? Seven Eleven, Meyer. Oh, and probably Seven Eleven. Seven Eleven has a really good. Selection. But Meyer's got it locked down. Just the warm ones on the buy, shelf, you mean? Yeah, but they've got sick deals. Like, I've been getting every couple of weeks, I'll get a eight pack of the oh. big Powerade Zeros. Eight pack, $5. Yeah, yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, I feel There's like there's eight of them there. You know where you got to, well, I mean, not that any of us are, are ever going to be like going to like a GFS. Do you guys have GFS, like Gordon Food Services or whatever yeah. it's called? Hell yeah. Like, where you, that's where you, get, you go and they have all of it. Cause for the concession stand at the Little League, we used to have to go there, and I would go and just tag along, and they had every flavor of Gatorade you can fucking think of. That's sick. In bulk. Right. I was like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Any yeah, other Menchies? No, not really. really I had, like, body armor and vitamin water. Like, I like, but those are all, once again, adjacent to the Powerade and stuff. Like, yeah. Um, those are there oh, were good. they were a lot in the uh and you're fucking hung over is phenomenal the sports drink market is saturated for sure i think that's yeah. what we learned today and they're all they all have their own spot in my heart too you know for sure like, i definitely like certain ones for certain things um yep. did you just jack did you just say body armor for a hangover oh yeah it's the best yeah i agree with that you. strawberry that's... banana one they have is yeah. Dude, next to none I'm pretty sure they they came out with like an actual like it's almost like a like a smoothie one, and I had it. I think it's Body Armor that makes it, if I'm not mistaken. It's like literally strawberry banana like smoothie though, and it's thick like a naked. You ever have a naked? Fuck yeah! So it's like that, but it's Body Armor, and it was really fucking good. It was it was like you had to drink it like on the spot because it it got it looked like it was gonna get gross fast, but it was actually pretty fucking solid. I would definitely recommend. Have you guys company. ever had kombucha? No, I've never had it. No, I know people take it to shit. I've seen <laughs> it a million times. That's one thing we left I off was tea. Behind it, dude. A lot of a lot of tea drinkers out there are gonna yeah. be like, really, no tea. Big tea. My girlfriend's gonna off. be pissed off. Audrey drinks a lot of tea and more kombucha than I've ever seen a human consume in my whole what life. What is kombucha? Is it it's great it, for what you? Is it? Is it's it like, like just water? minerals in water, and it tastes funny. But it's <laughs> so good for, like, gut health. Like, it's really fucking good for you. Cleans you out. Um, and I buy it for her all the time, and every time I buy her, like, a new flavor, I try it. Never liked one. Never even close to actually liking one. Gives me the heebie-jeebies just so thinking about it. It's not like a tea or anything. It's like its own, it's its own entity. It's its own liquid. It's like alive. Like there's living bacteria in this shit. What about like uh? It's a bad what about cell. like boba? Like what <laughs> yeah, about like, terrible cell? I wouldn't. Like I wouldn't, <laughs> I wouldn't, I wouldn't lead rainbows. with the bacteria. I would. He's lead still with alive. <laughs> yeah. Oh, little, little pork chop never learned how to swim, eh? Never learned how to swim, eh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's gross. I agree. Uh, what about like boba? Is that like a drink? Or like I'm confused. I've never had boba either. 
like I think the Boba is the balls. Is the balls, but like Boba tea, isn't that like a big? Is that what the only thing they put in? They call it Boba. I don't know. I think it's just tea with those big with the tapioca. Ba- okay. Pearls. Okay. I, so I was I like, and this is I need to get fucking. Hopefully, no one that ever wants to date me sees that. So I'm like, this kid's a fucking idiot. He's <laughs> not. He's not woke enough for me. Uh, <laughs> I never understood Boba until like a year ago when I saw someone like uh, this kid, Joshua Wiseman. He's like a YouTube chef. He's fucking funny. And yeah. He made Boba and he was like, oh, yeah, it's just the te-. I was like, well, I was so I was so confused. Looks like he is fans. funny as fuck. I do like him. There's a couple of uh, TikTok chefs. chefs that I absolutely love. There's this dude that cooks for like a full sorority house every day. Yeah. The older fella. Yeah, and he makes yeah, the yeah. most cracked ass meals, but in bulk. So he's bulk. got like big yeah. ass bowls. What's that dude? guy's name? I fuck with that guy know. too. It's Send me that creepy, guy. Though. I've never seen him before. Dude, he's You'd like love him, fifty he's though. So chill. It's kind of yeah. weird. Like the the dynamic kind of confuses me because you're like, hold on, dude. Like what? What? Is, he, he's probably just getting paid to be a chef. Like right. there's no weird shit going on behind the scenes. But like my head instantly is like, is he trying to fuck these girls? Like what's going <laughs> on? <laughs> uh, he's trying to fuck me. <laughs> yeah. uh, that guy is legit though. He makes good looking stuff, and he you can tell he knows like he was like a sh- a chef chef like a real chef. Yeah. Dude, my biggest thing on the talk right now is chefs reacting to other people's food clips and like shitting on them. It's great. Somebody making a terrible lasagna for like well, some fat ass American people. Is, <laughs> the chefs is just ripping that, them to shreds. Have you is have you seen the guys really called like chef reactions? Like the dude in the yeah, hat that's the one. That's the main. Yeah, guy, yeah, like the monotone guy, right? Yeah, and I yep. fuck with him too because he intentionally makes fucking little puns. And you're yeah. like, this guy wants to be a comedian, but he obviously fell into chefery and he can't get <laughs> yeah, out of it. He's funny as fuck. And at the oh, end, yeah. he's always like, this looks disgusting. I'd probably eat it. Yeah. <laughs> one out of ten. One yeah, ten. one out of ten. I'll, I'll try it. <laughs> <laughs> one out of ten. I'd try some. Yeah. Uh, like, herbs. He gets pissed yeah. off every time that chocolate guy comes on. He's like, all right, oh, what my- the fuck are we <laughs> making today? That guy is unbelievable, dude. Made a fucking full size dragon. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> that guy is yeah. insane, dude. Uh, yeah. All right, Great. we're wrapping this shit up. I'm gonna do everybody a favor <laughs> before we go down this TikTok rabbit hole. God Thank you for listening to episode 111. Uh, Kyrie Irving and other athletes that are number 11. We Demar DeRozan, boom. Demar DeRozan, isn't that Julian Edelman, douchebag basketball Julian player Edelman. number 11? Kyrie, no, the really Isaiah good Thomas, Isn't... Isaiah Thomas, Jokic, Jokic, Jokic is eleven. I think he's one 15. or something. Fifteen. Oh. Uh, episode one eleven is a wrap. Mikey might be making a little graphic for the NA Bev draft here, and we'll get some votes going for that to see if okay. Doctor Pep will reign supreme. All right. We love you guys. We will see everybody for episode 112 next week. Go vote on the poll. See ya. Peace.